I, yes. Okay. Well, I tell you, there are people like me. It's just, they haven't had the opportunity yet. And that's one of the things that I've found so memorable and exciting about teaching self-defense is that it doesn't take very much. It takes listening, witnessing, being with, hearing stories, providing tools for women and girls to be powerful because it's there. The courage is there. The resilience is there. Um, it's just, we need, a, we, need, uh, we need support. We need people like you writing stories and, and changing people's minds. I think that to individual women, I, my message is you are worthy. You deserve safety and freedom. You deserve both. So many times people feel like they have to choose. No, we should, we deserve to be free to choose how we want to live our lives and we deserve to be safe. And then I think to the community, I, we can't do this alone. No one woman can do this alone. We need, we need community. We need a collective. Um, that we have, I guess, as a community, we need to listen, just like you're doing, to listen, to hear the stories that women have to tell and really hear them and support, share what we know, share our tools, share our stories, share our knowledge. Um, and I believe that each of us has the capacity to be a social change agent right now. Yes, I think, well, first I'll say the empower, empowerment self-defense sees harassment, uh, rape, violence against women as being part of a, this, a continuum that, that they're all part of the same thing. That harassment isn't, I mean, obviously how it, plays out is different. I mean, it looks different, but um, they are all part of this cultural uh, structure that disrespects women, doesn't value, uh, doesn't value women. I think empowerment self-defense uh, addresses all of those things. With empowerment self-defense, there's this idea that uh, we need a range of tools, not just being able to hit somebody in the nose or kick them in the groin. We do need those tools. We really need to have knowledge and information about what risks are, what, what the realities are of violence. And uh, that in addition to information, we need to have affirmation that we are worth it. We are worth defending, that we deserve to be safe. So empowerment self-defense is the idea. It's not only defending against physical attack and that we're capable and that we're powerful.